The Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Thursday, April 20th. I'm James Spann. Another warm day today. Uh, for the weekend, we'll deal with some storms. The question is, will there be any severe weather? How much rain? When will the rain come? Let's see if we can dive in there and answer those questions. Uh, this is the visible satellite view over the eastern half of the country today. Kind of a moist air mass. We'll take a closer look at Alabama. You can see a few buildups on the eastern side of the state. Some of those forming in the showers today, but really not that many. That was the radar at 215. Pretty much you can count the number of showers on one hand, so most locations will stay dry tonight. Up on the watch warning map, we've got a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Ohio, Indiana, and Michigan. Flash flood watches for parts of Oklahoma, Kansas, Arkansas, and Missouri. Things are quiet here. Strong to severe storms possible for the rest of today and tonight from the Texas Panhandle up into western New York. Have an enhanced risk up around Cleveland and Detroit. And again, no problems here. And then tomorrow... We have a risk of severe storms from Texas and Oklahoma to the Middle Atlantic coast. An enhanced risk over much of eastern Oklahoma. In Alabama tomorrow night, there is a marginal risk of severe weather roughly along and north of U.S. 278. Hamilton to Cullman to Gadsden. And that's for the possibility of a few scattered storms that develop over far north Alabama. I honestly think most places will not see rain. The latest guidance coming in pretty dry, but if by chance storms do form there, they could be strong. And again, that's just a marginal risk. Now, day three, this is Saturday. The risk of severe storms from Louisiana through North Carolina. We have the standard slight risk of severe weather for much of central Mississippi. And for Alabama, just a marginal risk. That's the lowest end threat. Uh, basically north of a line from near Jackson to Prattville to Roanoke. The area is in darker green, and we'll talk about that as we go. Rain for the next seven days, valid through Thursday morning of next week, about one inch for the north, lighter amounts down to the south. And I'm beginning to think, I don't even know if we can get one inch here this weekend, and we could use it. But let's take a look. Uh, this is the GFS, the 12Z run, at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Shortwave energy coming up into eastern Canada and a shortwave digging down across the southern plains. Down below that, a surface boundary approaches Alabama from the north, trailing that surface low that's north of New York. It could kick off a few scattered storms late in the day, but quite frankly, the high-resolution NAM still looks pretty dry here. This is 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. I get the idea it's going to be a lot like today, really. Uh, the day will be partly sunny and very warm. Uh, any showers will be very isolated. Many spots will not get rain tomorrow or tomorrow night, but if by chance any do form up over the Tennessee Valley of far north Alabama, they could be strong near that surface boundary. But so many things are happening this weekend. This is a Saturday at one o'clock coming off the GFS, a broad surface low north of the state, not especially deep. We've got the Music and Miracles Superfest at Jordan-Hare Stadium in Auburn, the Alabama A-Day Spring Game in Tuscaloosa. We've got the Honda Indy Grand Prix of Alabama in Birmingham at the Barber Motorsports Park. We've got the uh, Big Magnolia Festival in Gardendale. Well, I could just keep on going here. So everybody wants to know when. So uh, let's dive in here. Let me just say this. I do think Saturday morning will be mostly dry. No problems. Now, we are now within range of the high-res NAM. This is the good three-kilometer resolution North American mesoscale model. This is 4 o'clock Saturday, and it's a little faster it brings really a band of showers, not much thunder, if this would verify, from near Scottsboro down to uh, Dora and Summerton and Tuscaloosa. And again, this is 4 o'clock, and understand the radar is not going to look exactly like that, but uh, this is suggesting there could be some rain maybe for the second half of that 8 a game in Tuscaloosa. So be aware of that. I think the game starts dry. It kicks off at 2 o'clock, uh, obviously for the... Uh, uh, Music and Miracles Superfest. I think that kicks off at 3 o'clock down at Jordan-Hare Stadium. The afternoon's going to be dry, but that's not very impressive. That's pretty puny looking. And then by 7 o'clock, that little broken band of showers and storms keeps on dropping to the south, south and east of Birmingham. Uh, the good news, that obviously doesn't look like a big severe weather problem. The bad news, we need some rain here, and that uh, rain output's not that impressive. We'll check some of the severe weather parameters coming off the high-res NAM. 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, you can see instability values are, uh, you know, they rise up to 1,500, 1,800 joules per kilogram south of the surface boundary at 4 o'clock, which is moderate. A little bit of uh, shear along in advance of the front. This is the zero to one kilometer storm relative helicity. 
But the wind fields are just kind of weak and puny. This is the low-level jet. The, the higher winds are back behind the front. Those are westerly winds. So it just looks totally out of phase for severe weather. And this is a forecast sounding. And this is coming off the GFS. And, again, it suggests uh, really just a marginal severe weather threat. There's not much uh, directional shear at all. So certainly this is less than impressive. And again, the problem is the lack of rain here. I mean, I, I know we don't want it during all these events, but we do need rain to wash the pollen and get some soil moisture increased here. We've started to see an uptick in the drought conditions again. This is the uh, rain coming off the uh, high-res NAM. This is valid through 7 o'clock Saturday evening, and this is suggesting rain amounts under a quarter of an inch for a lot of people. And this is the GFS rain output valid through uh, Sunday morning, and it's only got about a quarter to a half inch around here, so... Uh, the, the bottom line is the news is looking better for the outdoor events, but uh, we could use some good rain, and it's just not looking that good for a big rain event. But this is what we're putting out here, the chance of a few strong storms. We'd say the main window, 3 until 9 p.m. The overall severe weather risk not looking overwhelming at all here. Uh, maybe some storms with small hail and gusty winds. The tornado threat very low, if not non-existent for now. But again, you've got to watch any system in late April. You just got to. These things can surprise you. But for now, the overall severe weather potential just doesn't look that impressive. Sunday, much cooler. That's one thing we can pretty much uh, guarantee. As the surface low is east of here, uh, the high will drop into the 60s. And again, some folks up in the Tennessee Valley could stay in the 50s all day with a cool north breeze. These are the anomalies on Sunday. Temperatures way below average over much of the southern and eastern states. Monday morning, good chance we drop into the 40s. Monday should be a beautiful day. Sunny, low humidity, the high in the 70s. Tuesday, lots of sun will be approaching 80. And Wednesday, we're dry and low 80s are likely. This is a week from today, Thursday, the 27th of April. We all know that date well. Uh, big trough in the western states, and we'll see what happens with that deep surface low that's over Kansas. That one seems to be headed up toward the Great Lakes, but we'll jump out toward the end of the forecast period. This is Sunday, April 30th, and a very robust trough is just west of the state, a deep surface low near St. Louis, and that might bring the chance of uh, strong to severe storms. So we'll see. We'll watch that. Again, that's you know 10 days out there. A lot could change. Numbers coming off the GFS. One day, the big cool down Sunday. And that's got 58. I think we'll probably be in the 60s on Sunday. But then we warm right back up with 80s back in here for next week. Now, cool snaps do not last long this time of the year. I mean, May's almost here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.